Hello students, Leanne Shaw here, and today we're going to be drilling the toxine and the body wave. If you remember, the toxine looks like so. It can have arms rising up, or it can have the left arm out. The body wave looks like so deeper body angle, and it can also have an arm behind the head. So let's just briefly review the mechanics of the moves and then we'll do a drill. With the toxin, what's important is to engage the knees. The bending and straightening of the knee is what raises and lowers the hip. So as you can see, when my leg is straighter, it's never completely straight, but when it's straighter, my hip on that side is higher. When my knee is bent, my hip on that side is lower. As I switch my weight, the hips change their orientation. They change their height. Now, to make that connected, I'm going to be bringing in my oblique muscles to connect those shifts of weight so that it becomes a smooth figure eight shape scooping down, out, and up, crossing through the center, and scooping down, out, and up on the other side. You can think to, of this as a side-to-side -side movement. I prefer that you think of it as an up and down movement because that's what's happening with the hips. So, coming a little closer, I want you to take a good look at my hips here. Um, on my belt here, you see I have my little beaded uh, patches there. And as my hip is coming up I and coming down, I want you to try to match your hips to my hips. Out and up, pass through the center, down, out and up, pass through the center, down, out and up. Now you'll notice that the tock seam does not move back and forth like so. It is a side-to-side-ish movement with the hips moving up and down. So imagine that you are standing between two chairs. You don't have a lot of space. That's all the space that you have to be able to execute the movement. The hip is just coming up and coming down. Okay, with arm undulations, uh, on the hip that is coming up, that arm on that side will come up. The hip that is down, that arm on that side will be down. And we will be raising and lowering the arms, starting with the elbow, then to the wrist, then to the finger. We will lower the arm also, starting with the elbow, to the wrist, and to the finger elbow, wrist, finger, elbow, wrist, finger. And it's important to keep these movements slow and dramatic. Now the body wave isolates the upper part of the body. Toxime isolates the lower part. Body wave up isolates the upper part. Because this is a forward and back movement, we take a deeper angle than we normally do with the toxine. We're going to start with our left arm up in nice posture. Soft knees, very important to have soft knees, and an engaged ab. We're going to lift the chest off the center and up, pass back through the center, roll the spine down, and come back onto center without collapsing the chest. So lift, Tip, back, roll, and back onto center. Lift, tip, back, roll, and back onto center. Body wave can also have an arm behind the head. Lift, tip, back, roll, and onto center. So, with that, let's do a little drill.
I'm going to start facing you, then I will turn away. Excellent drill. Keep practicing. Keep the moves very slow, very gooey, very mysterious and powerful. And these two steps will get better over time. Great work. See you in class.